Let's go to Larry Shover, Chief Investment Officer at FSG Alternatives. Uh, welcome, Larry. I guess one thing we can learn from this is never turn a blind eye to what's happening in Europe or any of these periphery countries. Um, why, though, the, I guess, the sharp, significant reaction right around global markets? Well, I think because when you think of like this uh, upcoming speeding up election, I mean, that could definitely affect the ECB and any kind of large scale asset purchases that just last week we talked about that the market was really anticipating. And this could just really put a monkey wrench in the whole thing. And so, yeah, markets are going to, you know, in Europe, are going to look at this again this morning and uh, see how much how much credibility there is to this whole story. Because this could really uh, set the EC back, ECB back quite a bit. So is this a knee-jerk reaction, or could we continue to see this type of selling happening in Europe in particular until this issue is resolved, considering it is only next week? Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, it was just the initial shock of it all, the headline risk. You, you know, uh, Europe will have seen the U.S. recover from its earlier losses this morning. Um, unless there's any deeper details that we're not aware of, I do think the volatility will, will lessen from what it was yesterday. Well, let's talk about U.S. markets then. Uh, what do we make of the fact that the Russell yeah. 200 or 2000, sorry, that small cap index is up by one and a half percent? Yeah, well, I think it's just a simple case of rebalancing. I mean, let's keep in mind, like, at least on our shores, the S&P 500 has rallied an uninterrupted 15 percent since October the 15th when we touched that low. And um, the small caps have not enjoyed that. So right now, I think people are taking profits and booking them for tax purposes and also just rebalancing, recognizing that the small caps have gotten truly beaten up and their valuations um, in aggregate are much more appealing than maybe the S&P 500. Do you invest in that space, Larry? <laughs> 